Hi, friends. I want to give you parents, caregivers, and grown-ups out there a heads up that we have a great deal to share for you for your holiday gifting this year, even if it's for yourself. And seriously, after the year we've had here on Earth and until shuttle service to Dogland becomes available, why not treat yourself? The treat is Bobby's Boat Sauce, made here in Portland, Oregon. Invented on a sailboat, boat sauce is so good that we scrape the bottle for all of the last drops when we run out in our house. It comes in classic and hot flavors, and you can find it packaged in special gift sets that our friends and family have raved about getting when we have been generous enough to share. And you, our marvelous listeners, will get 10% off your purchase at Bobby's Boat Sauce, all one word, spelled B-O-B-B-I-E-S-B-O-A-T-S-A-U-C-E dot com, if you enter the word POWERDOG, all one word, all caps, at checkout. Again, that's 10% off your first purchase by entering the word POWERDOG, all one word, all caps, at checkout. And trust me, we would never hype anything we don't fully believe in. We personally asked Bobby herself if we could spread the good word because we are super fans. If you give it a try, you will be too. And while you're at it, why not also check out something else for the kitchen made by Hanks Grams and his great aunt, a.k.a. the Rainy Day Sisters PDX. We're talking tea towels here, the most lovely tea towels, with beautifully screen-printed scenes honoring the nature and scenes of the Pacific Northwest of the United States where we live. We'll post a link to their Etsy shop in our show notes. Thank you. How old is it, Dogland? And run with the power pumps. Got to got to love the style. And how they never, ever, ever give up. Hello, and welcome to the adventures of Power Dog in Dogland. Hi, friends, and thank you for tuning in for a special winter holiday episode of the adventures of Power Dog in Dogland. This story is going to be a little different, as it's not part of our bigger ongoing story for season one. It's a short, standalone episode that we'd love to share with you because it explains a little more about the holiday traditions as seasons change on Dogland. And we're going to share a little Dogland mythology with you as well. Before we get into that, you might ask, what is mythology? Well, mythology is a Greek word made up from two words that basically mean spoken story of the people. But more importantly, These stories, these myths, they are the stories we tell about the journeys we make, and that tells us who we are as a culture together. Myths often tell of how the world was created and how things came to be the way that they are. And just like here on Earth, myths on Dogland are stories that are and were primarily told first before they were ever written down. Come on, Power Dog, hollered Fetcher. He was waiting in the hall of their apartment building. Everyone's already in the shuttle. Power Dog grabbed his favorite scarf and checked the pockets of his cape to make sure he'd have his favorite toys and tools with him for the journey. Coming, he shouted back to Fetcher, who was now excitedly pacing up and down the hallway. The brothers joined their parents, their twin cousins, Tuffy and Taffy, and Tuffy and Taffy's mothers in the shuttle 
which was being driven by their favorite dog college coach, TikTok Bunny. Hop aboard, TikTok smiled as he waved to them. I hope it's already snowing on question mark mountain, barked Taffy eagerly. Yeah, me too, said Taffy. Oh, don't worry, pups. It's pretty much always snowing on the part of question mark mountain we're going to, said TikTok. And just like that, they were off. The pup sat down in the back of the shuttle and played a card game very similar to the Earth game called Uno. In fact, let's just call it Dogland Uno. Have you guys ever played it here on Earth? We love it in our house. The dogs, well, the younger pups and the grown pups too, are just wild about Dogland card games. And it's not just fun for them, it's tradition. What are some traditions in your home for your holidays? Traditions are those special things you always do for a special occasion. One of our favorite winter holiday traditions in our house is to wander around our neighborhood with cups of warm cocoa and hot apple cider in hand while we look at all of the pretty lights that our neighbors have put up. Oh right, now back to the dogs. When the dogs and TikTok Bunny finally arrived at Cody the Golden Coyote's Winter Lodge on one of the very, very high up parts of Question Mark Mountain, it was almost nighttime. Teeny tiny little snowflakes the size of glitter specks were flying and floating and dancing in the air. You'll need to go right to bed after dinner so we can wake up, have fun on the slopes, and be ready for Cody's great annual story time said Dog Wings to the young pups. Aw, Dad! Dad. said Fetcher and Power Dog. Taffy and Tuffy, however, just nodded in total agreement. They were both really tuckered out and ready for Betty, as they like to say. And your grandparents will be here first thing in the morning, said Taffy and Tuffy's Mama Molly, who, along with their Mama Lucy, walked them to the great dining hall. Grammy and Grampy Dogs did arrive first thing the next morning, and they brought with them brand new shiny dog snowboards so that everyone could surf the snow all day before coming back to the lodge to gather around the massive bonfire that Cody built every year for the great winter gathering. They also brought all of their cookie-making supplies for the post-bonfire holiday cookie party. While Grammy and Grampy dogs crafted and baked their hundreds of delicious cookies, the rest of the dogs played in the snow on a perfect sunny day. It was one of the most beautiful days they had ever enjoyed on Question Mark Mountain. Not only did they whoop it up on their new snowboards, but they made snow dog sculptures, had snowball toss games, and played a wild game of snow tag. The sun was setting early, as it does in the winter in many lands, and the dogs returned to find that the great bonfire had not been lit yet. Well, that's strange, said Mom Slice. Usually the bonfire is already going by now. And to make matters weirder, Cody, the host of this event for as long as anyone could remember, was nowhere to be seen. Many dogs and creatures were beginning to gather, and Power Dog noticed The TikTok bunny, who'd left the slopes early that afternoon, was also nowhere in the growing crowd. While everyone was mumbling and chatting with each other about it, he slipped quietly away and began to search in a circle around the lodge for clues. The first clue he saw was TikTok bunny's footprints headed away from the lodge and into a thicket of trees nearby. The footprints were very long, much longer than any dog's footprints, and he knew they were unique to TikTok Bunny. As Power Dog approached the thicket of trees, he heard a gentle humming sound. He wasn't sure what was inside these trees, so he circled around them, looking for more clues first. As he was about to give up on clues and just pop into the trees, he very nearly bumped noses with Fetcher. Power Dog, what are you doing? Fetcher, what are you doing? The brothers just nodded and laughed. They both knew that the other was nosing around to try to figure out where Cody was. Did you follow those big bunny footprints too? asked Fetcher. 
Yeah. Should we just jump in there? Power Dog nodded towards an opening in the cluster of trees. And they both took a deep breath and jumped into the center of the thicket. Poof! They were gone. Power Dog and Fetcher would both describe the experience later as a strange sensation of falling and swimming at the same time, like diving through soft, warm water, but in total darkness. When they came to, they realized they were in a gigantic cave. They must have tumbled in after Cody, then TikTok, and now they were all stuck. Cody was standing there with a torch, and he did not look stuck anywhere. He seemed entirely undisturbed, and TikTok Bunny was sitting cross-legged next to him. Oh, hi, pups, said TikTok Bunny. You found Cody's mountain den. Isn't it just marvelous? The pups blinked, mouths open a bit, and slowly looked around the entire cave. It was marvelous. The walls were covered with cave drawings, really cool crystals, and torches to light the way. Fetcher walked over to one wall and just stared. Whoa, this is the tale of Sun Dragon and Moon Lizard, he said excitedly. Very good, young one. Not everyone can tell that this ancient drawing depicts one of our oldest stories and the story I will tell at the great bonfire tonight, said Cody. Fetcher blushed and nodded. He was and had always been in awe of Cody. Power Dog spoke up. Everyone is already waiting and the bonfire is not lit yet. Ah, yes, we needed extra time to meditate. We have very big news to tell this year after the story, said Cody. Fetcher and Power Dog exchanged excited glances. They followed Cody and TikTok back out of the cave, but they had no idea how they actually exited. It was that strange feeling again. What was that? asked Power Dog. But Cody and TikTok Bunny didn't seem to hear him. Or maybe they simply chose not to answer. Fetcher just shrugged and they ran along to catch up to their elders. A nice crowd of dogs and other beans had gathered around the bonfire area when Cody leaped up and lit the stack of wood and brush which took off in a quick burst of glittering fire. Power Dog thought to himself that there was no doubt Cody was using some type of cool technology to make it glittery like that. Cody came to his platform and settled, which encouraged everyone to settle in. And when everyone was quiet, he began. When the moon lizard carries the moon of the stars, full of light so bright, beyond the farthest reaches of Question Mark Mountain, and the sun dragon almost tires and gives up the chase. We gather round our great fire and share the story of our greatest seasons changing. For it was the sun dragon's desire to hold the moon in their arms that led to the chase that spun our world and sent the moon lizard scrambling to chase the sun dragon back forever locked in a swirling dance of dark and light, light and dark. The dogs all began to lean against each other or touch paws to paws as they loved this tale. Cody continued, And as you know, it is but once a year that on this night, their tails will clash and create the great northern lights here on Question Mark Mountain. And when they do, we will call to them with the great howl of harmony. Everyone cheered at this, and quite a few let out their small celebratory yip howls. Everyone turned to go to the hall for the great feast of lights, and they were treated to an incredible dinner of Dogland delights, including a special kind of dessert made of those lovely Dogland bananas. You know, the ones that peel themselves when you touch or boop your nose to them? Yeah, they can be made into a dessert that tastes like an ice cream sandwich inside of a cake made of cookies. And speaking of cookies, Grampy and Grammy dogs did not disappoint 
as for another year, they had laid out hundreds of the most beautiful and delicious holiday cookies you could ever imagine. What's your favorite cookie this year? Tuffy asked Power Dog. Um, I don't know, said Power Dog as he took big bites of a ginger dog cookie decorated with brightly colored icing. Taffy handed each of them peanut butter blossom cookies with their names on them and said, Grammy and Grampy did it again. Ah, yes. yes. They all high pod as their parents wandered over for nuzzles and hugs. How's my little cookie? Asked Mom Slice as she nuzzled Power Dog. He just laughed and said, oh, Mom. Taffy and Tuffy's moms hugged the twins and stole little nibbles from their puppy's cookies as they laughed. <laughs> moms! <laughs> said Taffy and Tuffy in unison. Taffy and Tuffy's mothers looked down at them, brimming with warmth and joy, and joked, One of you was born a sugar cookie? and the other a ginger snap. When everyone was full and beginning to feel drowsy, they made their way back outside. Power Dog and Taffy lined up next to each other, and Taffy followed right along. Fetcher came over, eyes on Cody the whole time, and stood with the younger pups. They faced north, where they had seen the great lights come up every year since they were born, and they were delighted when tiny little rays of light began to lick the bottom of the sky in front of them. Then big, bright yellow flashes appeared, then purple streaks, and then massive, bright, white beams of light shooting straight up and across the sky dazzled them. Wow, this seems brighter than ever before, exclaimed Power Dog. Yeah! yeah said the other three in unison. Power Dog opened his mouth again to mention the strange cave he and Fetcher had been in before all of this, but he was utterly drowned out by the beginning of the great howl of harmony. <coughs> Cody stepped forward as the howl died down and said the ceremonious finish. And every year we gather to howl, to soothe the sun dragon, and to soothe the moon lizard, but also to thank them for their eternal chase. All of the dogs, TikTok Bunny, and other beans then exchanged hugs and high paws. Another great holiday in the books. They were all starting to head back into the lodge to nipple on just a few more cookies before bed when Cody announced this year there is more I have news and it is of utmost importance everyone turned back around and all eyes were on Cody he stood tall his golden fur flowing to and fro in the soft cold breeze as soon as he felt everyone had quieted down enough he spoke thank you what you have never been told before is that the dragons were real. They lived here in ancient times, and soon they will return. We will know the time is near when a new bright light crosses our sky. As jaws dropped and murmurs of confusion began to bubble up in the crowd of dogs, everyone fell silent as Cody's golden fur was illuminated not by the northern lights alone, but by the brightest comet they had ever seen. Thank you for tuning in to our winter holiday special, listeners. Now I'm joined by my six-year-old co-author, Hank. Ow! Hi, Hi. Hank. Hi. <laughs> Are you excited about winter holidays? Yep. Especially Christmas. Yeah, that one you're super excited about. We're pretty lucky in our house because we celebrate both Hanukkah and Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. You have already been opening Hanukkah presents. And you got to see some friends on Zoom yesterday for Hanukkah. Yep. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Um, 
Do you want to hear a couple of dog jokes? Yeah. Okay. What do you call a cold dog? Uh, what? A chili dog. <laughs> <laughs> I have one for you. You have one for me? Yeah. Okay. W- what do you call a dog that's in an ice cream cone? What? A cold knees. A cold knees? Yeah, like a burn knees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, because, like, when you're cold. Cause Your when knees you're, get cold? Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> the, um, a burn knees is also uh, a dog. Yeah, that's really so, funny. I have another one for you. Yeah. What do you call a frozen dog? What? A popsicle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's a holiday one. Who brings presents to good little doggies for their winter holidays? What? Santa Paws and, and Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Claus. <laughs> and we have a special guest joke from our friend Callum. Um, how funny does Santa find a joke? Hilarious. <laughs> And once again, listeners, thank you and happy howl days Special thanks to the inimitable Jason Rourke, who makes these stories sound extra good with his wise counsel, recording, sound design, and even original music. Additional thanks to our friends, family, and community. Thank you as well to a group of wonderful experts and artists listed on our website for guiding us through this process to bring these adventures to you, dear listeners, to whom we give our deepest gratitude. This podcast season one was made possible in part by funding provided by the Regional Arts and Culture Council in Portland, Oregon. Thank you, Rack. I am so happy to play for you at the end of the episode the sweetest Christmas song about a very silly dog named Wally by one of our favorite bands, called PB Jams or Peanut Butter Jams. You can actually see the real Wally on their Instagram page. We will post a link for you in our show notes. Wally is a sweet, sweet rescue who really, really wants butter for Christmas.
wolf in the house? <laughs> <laughs>